Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. The human body does a lot of really cool things without you thinking about it. I mean, right now your body is digesting food, keeping your heart beating, controlling how fast you breathe, and a thousand other things that you are now becoming hyper aware of. I apologize, but today I want to talk about a specific one, shivering. Let's suppose we were in some cold area, like, I don't know, the top of Mount Everest. Chances are you're going to get cold, very cold, and you're gonna shiver, and probably get goosebumps, and most likely die, but we're gonna ignore that part. But why does the shivering happen? Well, it all starts at the skin. When you're out in the cold, the temperature is detected by cold receptors in the skin, which send a signal up to the brain. In a study done on rats, researchers found that these signals were sent to specialized cells in an area called the lateral parabrachial nucleus. These cells then send signals to the preoptic area in the hypothalamus, which controls when the body starts to shiver. Now sure, these rats aren't human, and if they were, they'd be very scary, and look at this thing. That is gross. But there are actually quite a lot of similarities between humans and rats when it comes to sensing and regulating heat. So chances are the human brain probably has a very similar pathway. Once your brain processes the cold, your blood vessels around your skin, arms, and legs will begin to narrow in a process called vasoconstriction. This causes less blood to reach your extremities and therefore less heat to leave the body. After all, you need to hang on to as much heat as possible. Meanwhile, tiny muscles in the skin that are connected to your hair contract, causing the skin to distort, resulting in skin that resembles that of a bird whose feathers have been plucked. Hence the term, goosebumps. Finally, the most energy efficient way your body keeps you warm is by shivering. This happens when your muscles keep rapidly contracting to generate heat. When your body is exposed to cold, the contracting skeletal muscles release a hormone called irisin. And this magical hormone has a major effect on the energy storing white fat that is located around your body, like in your stomach and hips. And my hips certainly do not lie. Shake it. See, irisin can cause white fat to take on the characteristics of brown fat, which is able to burn energy and generate heat. So basically what I'm saying is that your muscles can communicate with your fat and make that stubborn white fat provide you with very much needed heat. And here's a fun fact for you, 10 to 15 minutes of shivering produce the same amount of irisin increase as an hour of moderate exercise. Now I'm not saying that shivering is better than working out, but it's pretty damn cool that the two are so similar. Cool? Get it? Shivering? I'm gonna stop. So let me know, do you like the cold? Do you prefer a warmer climate? Or you can let me know what you want me to talk about next. Make sure you come back every Monday for a brand new video. As always, I'm Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.